All right, hi boys and girls. Um, today's math lesson is how can you identify numbers as 10 more or 10 less? So we're going to be using the 10 sticks and ones like we have been throughout this chapter. And I have my friend Mrs. Gillat with me and I'm gonna ask her a question. Uh, Mrs. Gillat, how do you know that 35 is greater than 29? Well, what I've learned is that I need to look at the tens and see if they're the same or different, and I can see that they're different. So three and 35 is a higher number than the two and 29. So I know that 35 has to be greater than 29. So you know it's greater also by the fact that it has, this tells us it has three tens, mm -hmm. and there are only two tens in this number, so it must be greater. Right. So that's how we know it's true. All right, let me ask you one more. And maybe my friends can be thinking how they would answer at home. What number is one more than 25? So one more, I have to think about the ones column. So I would say 25, the next number is 26 because six comes next. So two and a five, then two and a six, 25, 26. All right, that's what I hope my, our friends were thinking at home too. All right, so we're going to do some work today with identifying the numbers as 10 more or 10 less. So we're going to start with a story problem and it's with three friends. So we have Pat, Tony, and Jan. So in the story, um, Tony has two boxes of markers and then two more. Well, we can assume that the box of markers, there's 10 in a box. So if he has two boxes of 10, and then two more. What number are you thinking right now? Did you say 22? So he has 22 markers in all. Now his friends have different numbers. So I'm gonna have Mrs. Gillett help me again. So if we, I'm gonna write this with the tens and ones because that's what you'll be using at home. So I know that he has two tens and two ones to make 22. So, Mrs. Gillot, his friend Pat has 10 less markers than him. Oh, less, okay. So if he, that's 10 less, then we would just put one 10 and two ones. Do you wanna draw that? I would. Okay. So one 10 and two ones. So that's 10, 11, 12. All right, so Pat has 10 less than Tony. Now we're comparing Jan and Tony. Jan has 10 more than Tony. So we're not gonna start with the 12, we're going to go back to that 22 that Tony had. So how could we show that Tony, that Jan has 10 more than okay. Tony? So I'm thinking of what Tony has. I'm not gonna think about what we did up here. So Tony had two tens and you said Jan had 10 more? 10 more. So I need to add another 10 stick, 10, 20, 30, and our ones are the same. 31, 32. And I noticed a very interesting pattern here. All of the ones are the same. All the ones, are, our ones did not change, but our tens went up. So we have 12, 22, 32. Hmm, what would be the hmm. next 10? I hope our friends are thinking about that. Hmm. I'm gonna give them a second. 12, 22, 32. So one ten and two ones, two tens and two ones, three tens and two ones. Mm, I wonder what the next would be. I'm seeing that pattern. One, two, three, four. Mm. So I'm what did you think 42? Pat yourselves on the back if you got it. All right, we're going to try one more before we show you um, your work for today. So we're going to stick with Pat, Tony, and Jan, but we're going to change those numbers. All right, so we are starting with, Tony has 33 markers this time. Okay. So I'm going to draw in three tens and three ones. All right, do you think you could figure out, which do you wanna do, 10, more, 10 less or 10 more first? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it tricky and I'm gonna go 10 more first. All right, do 10 more. What would okay. be 10 more than 33? So I have to remember, to look at my tens. So we had three tens, I need to add one more to that. So there's the three, 
one more would make four, and our ones don't change. So now we have 43, let me count that again, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. Let's see if they can figure out, now Pat has 10 less than Tony. That Let's give them tricky. a second to think that through. How would that look? So mm. when I think about it, I almost think about like covering one up in my mind. Oh, so if we covered, if we covered one up, then how many are you going to give him? I'm gonna give him two. So two times and one stay the same. So I have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. And again, we see that pattern. The ones have not changed. We still have three ones, but the tens have changed. So that's going to be your work today. In, um, on your slide, you're going to see this page. And here's the example we just did. 23, 33, 43. So 23 is 10 less than 33. 43 is 10 more. You're going to be doing that with these examples down here. And you can draw your 10, 6, and 1s if that helps you. They've given you two to, to try um, using the 10, 6 that you'll see in second grade. But you can always do the little sketches to help you out. And that's your work for today. Have fun with math.